Nice fish on the Stockholm Wooly Burger. It's a little bit more hint of pink and a magic head in front here. Nice fish, probably 65, 70 centimeter. I'm gonna go back. Hi guys, topic of today, the Wooly Burger from Stockholm. I'm Niklas Bauer and today we are going to tie the Wooly bugger that I fish most of the time with when I'm fishing uh, back home in the Stockholm Archipelago for sea trout. This uh, pattern is uh, super versatile. You can fish basically anything with it, but it's a nice pattern that you can fish weighted or unweighted or with a loose magic head in the front. Um, it's just a super simple but a basic pattern which I really think you should master in a good way. We're going to tie this on the Erex Light Stinger in a size 2. So I prefer to fish fairly big um, flies in Stockholm, definitely because they are they are attracted by it. Uh, they're feeding a lot of, on bait fish, and also I like that hook because it has a very wide gape that, that hooks the fish in a really good way. And I'm also going to show you a little bit of the technique that I'm used to get the tail to not to tangle because you can do this in two things. You can ch use a marabou which doesn't tangle or you can use a marabou which you need to put some super glue underneath so it doesn't tangle but the most important thing here in my opinion is that the tail doesn't tangle and it swims well because the more time the, t the, t the tail is tangled the less fish you will actually catch so what we're going to do is we're going to use woolly bugger marabou and that's the short feather that is work as compared to a normal marabou feather so this is the normal one and this is the woolly bugger one and as you can see, they are a short feather, which we're going to take away the small piece here. So we use the stem and we actually tie the whole stem in, into the tail, which get, gets really good movement, but it makes it tangle very, very few times. Then we're going to do two dubbing loops, a little bit of a flash. We're going to put it in a dubbing mixture and basically we're done. So it's a quick fly, super cool. Tie a bunch of them up in different colors and you will be safe for the Stockholm sea trout. So as normal, down below you find the list of all the materials we've been using in this fly. push it down through the magic tool like this. Uh, I like to kind of get the fibers all in one like that. This is the magic tool magnum and then you take the normal clamp like that.